All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to this interview we got for you guys. Of course, I'm Breaking CBK, and as you can see, I'm going to be joined by Hanskin here of Bad Monkey Gaming, and we're going to talk about basically uh, how prepared they feel, how they feel going into Thailand, and what they think is going to happen at the World Final. So with that said, Hanskin, welcome. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, nothing much, nothing much. Excited to be here. Obviously, uh, I'm sure you are excited as well. You're you're just about getting ready to to leave. It sounds like as well. Are you gonna be leaving later today or? Um, we're actually leaving in uh, tomorrow afternoon. So. Okay, so on Tuesday, just like uh, just like us as well. So oh, okay. we should be we should be getting there, I believe, uh, basically at the same time. So looking forward to that. Uh, the travels. You got a long flight ahead of you. You, you looking forward to that or? <laughs> Not really. I think it's something like 21 hours or something like that. And. Uh... It's a, a few stops. Yeah, it's a lot. But <laughs> it's I a think we'll do fine. Yeah, in the end, yeah, it's something that has to be done, of course, to get there. But uh, you know, hopefully, you've, uh, maybe, maybe got got a tablet or something to bring along with you to yeah, watch that, the movies. That, that would help. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Post tasty one. Exactly. Uh, so okay. So with that, so have you ever been outside of really the region? I don't. Have you ever been outside of the that? Because you've been in the states, obviously. Uh, you've been, of course, you're from Sweden, Thailand. This is probably a new experience. I guess is what I'm getting at for you. Um, well, not really. I guess for my team it is, but I've been there a couple of times already myself with my okay. family and stuff. So, <laughs> so have you have you prepped your players on what what to expect in Thailand? Well, I I guess so. It's gonna be very what do you say? It's gonna be a, a, very warm in <laughs> in March to say the least. Like yeah, 40 Celsius. I guess we can expect. And I don't know really. It's just it's gonna be know, hot. Just, yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> Yeah, hot, and it's going to be an yeah, vacation, it, it, except for the tournaments. Except for, for the, the tournament side of things, yeah. of course. So, yeah. Okay, so speaking of that, obviously the big world finals coming up. Uh, you guys have been boot camping, from my understanding, this last week or so. How has that gone? Have you, you guys feel pretty good after it? Yeah, we feel really good. Even though I, I think, well, yeah, we played a lot. We played scrims every night, you know, or even, yeah, basically every day. Uh, we played a lot, and also we had... We did some stuff outside of the game. Uh, we had fun. Like it's, it's just what we usually do. Yeah, you yeah. can hear the my teammates goofing around a bit here. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like uh, you, sounds like it's more than just you guys coming together to just play hard and be serious about it. It sounds like you guys are all just having a, also just having a lot of fun. Is that safe to say? Yeah, that's safe to say for sure. <laughs> good, good. Uh, that's that's a good uh, obviously environment to have. Of course, going into uh, a big event like this, so. Again, you, you guys, uh, Ellie, Ellie is part of your team, has been to the world fi or the well, the well, the grand finals last year, of course, in Vegas uh, for season one. That was an experience. You guys have been to DreamHack, of course. Uh, how do you think this LAN is going to compare to the other LANs that you've been to? Um, I think this LAN is a lot, like, we're we're a lot more expected to do well on this LAN, uh, or maybe DreamHack as well. But I think we're, like, one of the top contenders this time in comparison to Vegas when we were, like, we were not even uh, expected to qualify in the end, but uh, we did. Uh, I guess there's that, and uh, it's, this, this time it's going to be a lot bigger, uh, <laughs> a lot bigger crowd. And I guess Thailand, they're just, it's kind of the, like the biggest game over there. I've oh, heard. Yeah. And, yeah. So it's, there's that as well. But yeah. I, I just think it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. So, of course, you guys are obviously going with Stay Green and Sync Esports. You guys qualifying via the Redemption match. I mean, how about that? You know, we'll talk about lows and highs. You guys went from thinking that it was all done after the after the great season that you had, unfortunately getting knocked into the playoffs, to then the Redemption match and having a second chance. Do you think that maybe uh, has almost like boosted you past where you even were before, or are you kind of at the same place, or what? Mm, I think I think so, yeah. I think it boosted us a bit. Uh... We were obviously very low uh, when we didn't qualify in the in the regular, what is it, regular tournament or qualifier. Yeah. But uh, after that, we got like when we when we knew that we had the second chance there, we were so motivated again. We we basically just stomped NK that those three games and and now we're just we're just going hard for Thailand. I guess so we're just practicing hard and we're we're ready for it. Are you ready for Stay Green and Sync Esports? Obviously, you, you three teams have been practicing a lot. I think Reason Gaming's kind of been thrown in that mix as well. Uh, how do you feel about their, them going into this event? Do you think that they're as prepared, or do you think they're going to be looking good? I, I would say that we have been doing what better in the latest weeks in terms of scrims and stuff, but that's just scrims. You can't really, you can't really measure that in the same way as tournaments. But I think Stay Green is kind of in a slack right now. I'm not sure why, but they they haven't been playing tournaments for like forever. Uh, and yeah, but uh, there's still like Titans online, so there's yeah. that. And, and also, Denial has, uh, I've seen Esports have been switching rosters a bit. And I definitely think that 
it it might affect them in a negative way because yeah. yeah, you know, Mickey is not usually a mid player and Probosk was definitely a core of their team. So yeah, I think we're gonna yeah, I I don't think we're scared of anyone right now, and uh, I think it's gonna be uh, yeah, especially the North American European teams are gonna be great matches. Whoever we play. Well, okay, so yeah, North American European teams. Obviously, we expect uh, these three teams to do fairly well in the end. Now, uh, where I'm getting at, of course, is the Southeast Asian team. Southeast Asian and even CIS, of course, Cats Gaming, uh, coming from the CIS region. But uh, so far, we have uh, we have Neo MMR, M Neo MRR and uh, Myth S2Y that I've qualified from uh, Southeast Asia. They have plenty of experience. They they finished third, fourth last year, actually at the GSL. But they've had a whole year since then to kind of. They've had their own haunt tour season that they've gone through. They've had a lot of play time against, you know, high tier competition over there. Do you think that this is the event that Southeast Asia especially is going to really bring it? And are you are you almost worried of what they're going to bring? Are you still confident that you're going to be able to pass by them? I will. I think they're improving for sure. I'm I'm not so much uh, worried about like being outplayed by them, but uh, more so like. They, they, them finding a pocket strat or like a cheese, so to say. <laughs> uh, so that's more of what I would be scared of uh, facing them. But uh, I think if we just play like we usually do in Hunter and this, I think we're going to do just fine, to be honest. Uh, I'm not. Uh, no. Sorry. Uh, how much research have you been doing, though, on these teams? Have you done any? Or is it just you're kind of just going into it? We'll see what they bring. Uh, uh, we've done a little bit. We're. we're, we're um, what do you say? We're planning on doing a bit, little bit more today and tomorrow before we leave, uh, watching some uh, replays and VODs uh, from cast and stuff, but not so much yet. Uh, just a little bit. And uh, yeah, so far we, we know what to expect, I guess. All right. What would it mean to win the world finals and take home your uh, first place share of that $150,000 plus prize pool? <laughs> well, a lot of money, of course, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that would be that would be great. I, I I think that's something you never forget in your entire life. It's just it's just really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't I don't think there's much you can compare to that at all. All right, it's gonna be a great time for sure. Obviously, before we wrap up, any shout outs, any final words you want to give your hands again? Um, shout out to my team, Papa Bjorn, BMG, uh, also Cupid for hosting this bootcamp for us. Uh, and their other sponsors, Lamborghini, E-Smokes, and Swedish hosts. That's it. There you go. Hanskin, it's going to be a blast, man. I can't wait to see you guys in South or in Thailand. Excuse me. It's going to be really fun. Again, a couple more days that we'll be uh, we'll be getting together, and then obviously you got the World Finals to focus about. So thanks again, Hanskin. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. See you later.